hi there. Yeah, we're trying to get our uh, transfer case cleaned up here. Turns out that our leak was just the gasket between the transmission and the transfer case. Um, but since we have the case out, we might as well clean it up. And I do have a couple seals that are seeping, uh, so we'll take care of that too. Boy, there is definitely a lot of gunk caked on. So a lot of you have mentioned in the comments about going to a uh, doubler. And I do have pieces around here where I could add a doubler to this case. But if I do that, then I'd have to redo my drive lines. I'd have to shorten my rear drive shaft, lengthen my front drive shaft, those types of things. And I don't know, my drive shafts are holding up real well. I like them. So I'm not sure that I want to do that. However, I would like to go to the 3 to 1 Lomax case. I did contact JV Conversions uh, via email. Have not heard back from them yet. So not sure if we're going to be able to do that or not. But the 3 to 1 low range is kind of the way I want to go. Yeah, there's lots of spots yet. Now you know what we're, I'm going we're keep work, we we got to keep working on it. Now you know what I'm Please don't get me wet. Watch out. We are using hot water in our pressure washer. It's making a big difference. But I still think we might have to get some oven cleaner. Oven cleaner? It works really good. We will have to think about the possibility of... Uh, Doing the modification to do a twin stick uh, so we can do front wheel digs. Doing front wheel digs? <laughs> yeah. But I do want to thank everyone for your wonderful comments of getting better and everything else. I greatly appreciate it. I'm working on being back in the shop and bossing everyone around. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, I think that's as clean as I'm going to get it without some oven cleaner. So we'll get some of that. And then we'll be right back. Well, we're back, and uh, we got a gasket that we need. We got some seals that we need. We got some oven cleaner to clean it up a little bit more. And uh, I've inquired uh, about a twin stick setup, and I've inquired about the three to one Lomax. Sent emails, made phone calls. Haven't heard anything back yet. I think we're just going to have to uh, tune this one up and uh, put it back in. Realistically, um, it's going to cost us a bundle to go out to the tow truck Olympics and uh, we're on a budget, so I'm afraid that uh, huge modifications are just not going to be possible right now. we got to budget our money so we can make the trip for sure. Well, let's get to cleaning this up a little bit more. we're going to get it. That almost looks like a stress crack. Hmm. We better go get our parts transfer case from out back. like we might have a crack right here on this uh, input bearing support and uh, close inspection spinning it's in neutral right now so we can spin each individual one input output and output I don't know if you can hear this But this one has a little bit of funny noise. So we better take this output bearing apart and take a look. 
a little bit of a unique socket for this one, a 12.516. Loosen them all by hand. Now it's safe for the power tool. Well, it's not cracked. It is just a uh, casting flash. It's all right, we need to replace the seal anyway. Now let's take apart the back side. All right, this is our rear output shaft. Stuck on there pretty good. There we go. That one looks okay, but we gotta replace that seal. Still hear our noise. Looks like to get at that one, we gotta pull the speedometer drive. Nope, still making the noise. So, inside here we have our rear output sport bearing, and uh, this is our speedometer gear, this red one here, and then we have a Needle bearing on this side. There's our gear. And there's what was making our noise. Is the needle bearings that go inside here that our input shaft is supported with. Yep, that bearing's smooth. These needle bearings here. I believe we're the ones making the noise. Hi there. Hi. What's up? I made it out. Yes, you did. Did you find the problem yet? Well, we got a little bit of a noise that we're trying to track down. Well, there's all the rollers from the roller bearing. I don't see anything wrong with any of those. Don't worry, it's designed to come apart like that. No noise from the bearing that's in there. Guess we'll have to look further. No noise in that bearing. Feels nice and smooth. Our speedometer gear looks okay. That roller bearing appears to be fine. No abnormal teeth wear on our uh, shift ring. Everything else in our case is running smooth. No noise. Well, I don't see anything of concern, so I think, uh, I think we're gonna put it back together and run it. One last thing though, we're gonna put a magnet down in the bottom of the case, fish around a little bit. Make sure that there's no broken pieces that I'm missing. 
Nope, clean. I suppose if there is anything I'm missing, we'll know soon enough at the Tow Truck Olympics. We better clean everything up, put it all back together. Looks good. I suppose some of you are wondering why, as long as I'm this far, why don't I just rebuild the whole case? Well, I'll tell you, it was operating just fine. Remember, we took it out because of a leak between the transfer case and the transmission. I happened to notice what I thought was a little bit of a noise, abnormal noise. We took it apart, inspected the area that the noise was coming from, didn't find anything wrong, anything that needs to be replaced. We're just doing some seals that were seeping. There's no need to rebuild the whole case. These things are really tough, they run in oil, and we didn't really have a problem with it. These 205 cases are tough, they hold up real well, and last a long time. Now watch, something will happen to it, it'll fail and prove me wrong. Isn't that just the way things go? Well, looks like we didn't need any spare parts from our spare parts transfer case, but we do need a few more gaskets. So we're gonna have to make a run to the parts store. And seat cover reminded me that I promised we'd go get a holiday tree today for the shop. So we gotta take a break and go do that. Wanna come along? That ought to work. Well, we stopped at the parts store, had to order the gaskets, they'll be in tomorrow. And uh, now it's off to the tree farm. Well, we stopped to get some fuel first and uh, it's lunchtime. So we got a little bit of a snack going on here. We got some mini tacos. What do you got there, sweetie? Doritos. Cool Ranch Doritos. Uh, what do you got, Abby? I got taco dip. Taco dip, okay, well. And we got Elsa and with. And regular or regular Doritos for your yep. taco dip. All right. And Puppy Dog's coming with to the tree farm too. We're almost there. There's the tree farm. We got one picked out yet? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Which one? Those big ones. The <laughs> big ones. <laughs> All right, now we're on the hunt for a tree. And seat cover says she wants a big one for the shop. Yes, yes I do. At least we picked a good day to do it. It's 35 degrees. It is a nice day. That looks like a real nice one except for the top. But we could fix the top. What's the bottom look like the sides? It's pretty good. It's got one little open spot there, but turn that to the back. Oh, it's crooked and I'll get out. Oh, I don't want to get out. Well, seat cover spotted a really big one over here that she likes. Let's go take a look. That is a big tree. That would probably fill up the shop pretty good. Well, I guess that's what it's gonna be. A big tree for the shop. All right, here we go. Boy, that sucker's got a big trunk on it. We're running out of battery. Ready? It's a big tree. That fills up the bed on the top kick. That's a big tree. <laughs> so one of the things that the tree farm does is they shake the tree. Oh yeah, you hit the button. Go ahead. You get all the dead needles off. All right, we got a nice clean tree now. Well, we got an 11 foot tree now to put up in the shop. Are you happy about that? Because you only told me nine foot. <laughs> well, we ended up with 11. Well, there you go. There's your huge tree for the 
shot. Oh boy. I suppose you want me to put this up now. Uh, yeah. Tree is so big and tall, I think we better uh, put a bigger base on our tree stand here. Yes, a lot of work for a holiday tree. I know, it's a favorite holiday. Well, hopefully that'll be enough to support it. Well, it's standing on its own. I think we'll get it into the spot we want and then we'll straighten it out. You got your big tree. I got my big tree. <laughs> well, I think that's enough for tonight. Thanks for watching, BSF Recovery Team. Keep wheeling, be safe out there, maybe we'll see you in the woods.